Hi, welcome. My name is Shane and I teach yoga uh, at Dolby in San Francisco uh, four to five days a week in person. And just to tell you a little bit about myself, um, I've been doing yoga since 1998. I came up in a karate background. Uh, both my parents are in their 70s and 80s still very active in martial arts. So I was born in a karate dojo in New York, Manhattan. And I started doing yoga in 1998. And I live in a yoga ashram in San Francisco. And I spent more than three years in India doing intensive studies of yoga and meditation. And um, yeah, so that's a little bit about my background. And just wanted to address that um, this class uh, theme is going to be on gratitude. And gratitude is uh, an important practice uh, for me. Um, in yoga, in the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali, which is a classic um, philosophical text in yoga written by uh, the sage Patanjali. Um, in the Yoga Sutras, there's eight limbs, and uh, one of those limbs is asana. Asana means posture or seat. So yoga, as we do in the West, hatha yoga, uh, is postural yoga, uh, which has a lot of benefit. Um, also, uh, the Yoga Sutras deals a lot with meditation, uh, with the mind. Um, that's one of the limbs and um, with pranayama, which is breath, which we're, we're gonna look at today in this session. Uh, prana is the inner breath, and yama means the constraint or control of the inner breath. So it means basically breath control or breath work is the pranayama. And back to the theme, um, gratitude. <laughs> so um, in the, uh, the Yoga Sutras, there's uh, eight limbs, and the first two limbs are the Yamas and Niyamas. So Yamas are five um, internal observances, and the Niyamas are five external observances. And one of the, the Yamas, these are, this is, you could think of the Yamas and Niyamas as basically the rules and the playing field, or you could say like the Ten Commandments of Yoga. And one of these is Santosha. And Santosha literally means gratitude or contentment. So one of the foundational um, parts of yoga before we look at uh, postural yoga, uh, asanas, posture, uh, breath, uh, is gratitude. And um, in, uh, in the West, uh, in America, we, we celebrate uh, Thanksgiving, and um, this is you know a day to reflect on different gratitudes of our, in our life, being with family and with friends like this. Um, but besides uh, just the yearly holiday, um, I actually take this practice of santosha, gratitude, contentment, uh, and do it every day. And I could invite you to do that as well if you like. Um, I found it a very helpful practice. And a way to do that is simply to, to get a notebook. I have a little pocket notebook um, by my bed. And every night before going to sleep, I write three things that I'm grateful for. And um, this is a very uh, useful practice. And um, yeah, it's just, um, you know, life is not easy. Um, you know, there's highs and low in life. Um, recently, um, my mom's husband, uh, my stepfather, uh, of 23 years just died. Uh, sudden death, heart attack. And yeah, it's like, uh, we don't know um, what people are going through, what we go through, what life uh, deals us with. But one thing we could always do is practice gratitude, even if that's, even in a difficult day, we could still be thankful <clears throat> for fresh air,
clean water, uh, food, um, movement, um, whatever. And there's always something to be, food and shelter. <laughs> so there's always something to be grateful for. And I, I find it a very interesting practice just to write down three things before going to sleep. Uh, I keep it in a notebook. And, and then after, after some time, like I was looking at an old notebook, maybe from a few years ago, I would just read through the different gratitudes. And it's almost just looking like uh, in the past, uh, things I, I was grateful for, and just a, a time to reflect, and just on so many blessings in my own life. And, and then I just usually just recycle the pages, <laughs> just throw it in the, the trash and the recycle bin. But um, just having that is, is just a very helpful practice uh, of gratitude. So having said that, um, I'm also grateful for yoga. And we're going to do some yoga right now. <laughs> now we move to the, the yoga section, into the movement. So we'll begin at the front of the mat, sides of the big toes together. Placing the majority of the weight and the heels in the back and letting the rest of the weight fall everywhere else. So lifting up tall through the crown of the head. And we'll begin to turn on the breath. We'll close the back of the throat slightly so you begin to hear the sound of the breath. This is the same action that enables whispering. So a slight closing of the back of the throat, a slight opening of the glottis. And by doing this, begin to hear the sound of the breath. So the breath begins to sound like the ocean, like waves on a beach. And full exhale, drop the breath down. Next inhale, spin the arms, reach up, head the heels. Exhale, dive, ride the breath like a wave, like you're surfing. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands down, back in the plank. Exhale, low. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Rest in downward dog, deep breathing. Bottom and next exhale, gaze forward, or bring feet up to meet hands. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Inhale, spin the arms, reach up, touching the ceiling. Exhale, equal standing. And again, inhale, spin the arms, reach up. Exhale, dive, coming down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands down, back to plank. Exhale, low. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Five breaths, downward dog. Bottom and next exhale, gaze forward or bring feet up to meet hands. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, spin the arms, reach up, touching the ceiling. Exhale, equal standing. From here, moving into Surya Namaskar B, the second sun salutation. Being grateful, having gratitude for movement. Inhale, take a breath. Exhale, touch the earth. Inhale, sweep the arms up into shift. Exhale, come to standing, dive. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands down, back in the plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Left foot in, right foot forward. Inhale, raise the arms up, warrior one. Exhale, float the arms down, back to plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Right foot in, left foot forward. Inhale, raise the arms up, warrior one. Exhale, float the arms down. Back in the plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Rest in downward dog and breathe. Bottom.
bottom of the next exhale, gaze forward, bring feet up to meet hands, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold, get loud, sit in the chair, sweep arms up, chair pose, exhale, come to standing, float the arms down, and again, inhale, take a breath, exhale, touch the earth, inhale, sweep the arms up in the chair, exhale, come to standing, dive, inhale, lengthen, Exhale, hands down, back to plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale out. Exhale, back. Left foot in, right foot forward. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, swim the arms down, back in the plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. Exhale, back. Second side, right foot in, left foot forward. Inhale, raise the arms up, warrior one. Exhale, float the arms down, back to plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. Exhale, back. Rest in downward dog and breathe. Bottom and next exhale, gaze forward, bring feet up to meet hands. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Get low, sit in the chair, sweep arms up, chair pose. Exhale, come to standing, float the arms down. Let's open the stance. So feet about head width apart, hands to waist, inhale, lift chest. Exhale, fold, coming down. Feet on top of hands pose. Get all the way down into wrists as much as possible. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold and breathe. Release breath, inhale, lengthen, exhale, hands to waist. Inhale, slowly come up, looking down the nose. Join sides of the feet together, so hands together in front of heart. Big inhale. Exhale, open the stance. We'll turn face side, turn right foot off to the side, long stance. Inhale, lift the kneecaps, legs light up. Exhale, reach right arm, lower hand. Gaze up at the thumb and breathe. Release breath, look down, strong off right foot. Inhale up, turn face other side. Inhale on top of the inhale, kneecaps lift. Exhale, reach the arm, lower hand. Gaze up at right thumb and breathe. Release breath, look down, inhale up, and we'll turn other side. Raise left arm up. Exhale, reach the arm, lower hand. Coming into revolve triangle. Place the hand onto block, floor, or leg. Release breath, look down, inhale up, we'll turn 180 like a windmill, raise right arm up, like you're holding a lightning bolt, like Zeus on Mount Olympus. Exhale, throw lightning bolt, lower hand down, second side. Release breath, look down, inhale up, turn face side. Walk feet in, front of the mouth equals standing. So hands together in front of heart, big inhale. Exhale, open the stance, we'll turn face side, we'll turn right foot off to the side. Drop into warrior two. And from here, piece of warrior, left hand to leg. Sweep right arm up, big inhale. Exhale, gently place the right forearm to leg or right hand to floor. Left fingers reach through the wall and breathe. And 
Release breath, look down, inhale up. We'll turn other side. Drop in the left knee down, raise arms up, warrior two. From here, peace of warrior, right hand to leg, sweep left arm up, big inhale. Exhale, gently place left forearm to leg or left hand to floor. Right fingers, reach through the wall and breathe. With this breath, look down, inhale up, turn face side, arms up. From here, hands to waist, wrap arms, inhale, lift chest. Exhale, fold, coming down, pelvis rocks forward, come onto fingers or palms. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold and breathe. Ground heels into earth to tone hamstrings and back. Lift kneecaps to engage quads. So the head moves through the earth like an ostrich disappearing from the world. Release breath, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands to waist. Inhale, slowly come up, looking down the nose. Big inhale, raise arms up. Exhale, we'll clasp the fingers back behind. We'll shrug shoulders, we'll drop shoulders down. Micro bend elbows, inhale, lift chest. Exhale, fold, coming down. Take hands away from low back region. Release breath, inhale up, looking down the nose. Release hands, we'll raise arms up, walk feet in, front of the mat equals standing. So hands together in front of heart, big inhale. Exhale, open the stance. We'll turn face side, we'll turn the right foot off to the side. We'll place hands back behind. So hands in reverse prayer. Otherwise, fists together behind back. Inhale, arch back. Exhale, fold, coming down. Deep breathing. Release breath, inhale up. We'll turn other side. Inhale on top of the inhale. Exhale, fold, coming down. So right kidney moves toward the left knee into a twist, giving internal organs a massage. This is wonderful for digestion, like ginger root. Okay, release breath, inhale up, we'll turn face side. Release arms, arms up, walk feet in. Front of the mouse equals standing. And from here, we'll transition down onto floor via sun salutation. Inhale, take a breath. Exhale, drop the breath down. And pause the breath at the bottom. Next inhale, spin the arms, reach up, heavy heels. Exhale, dive, coming down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands down, back in the plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. Bonus, upward dog, five breaths. We'll hold for one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, back, downward dog. Weight in the hands, engage the core, bring the feet through, right into sitting. And from here, we're going to move into Dandasana, Staff Pose. Good. So in this forward bend, having gratitude, being grateful for where our flexibility is today. Hmm? 
it doesn't matter how far you could uh, come forward. So if needed, you could bend the knees, totally fine, grab and hold of the shins or big toes, bend in the knees as much as needed. And if you need to, you can even have a strap around the front part of the feet, the hands off to the sides, hmm? like you're riding a horse English style. So that's some options for the forward bends. And um, yeah, so just being completely grateful with where you're at today. The body's always changing. Every seven years, we have a new body. I did, during my intensive studies in India, um, in, when I, where I was studying yoga with my teacher there, um, there was a woman who was a professional ballet dancer in Japan, and in her fuller bend, she could come forward and grab hold of her elbow right over the feet. <laughs> so I've never seen anyone that flexible before, but it's not about placing your head on your, on your sacrum, right? It's, so yoga is much more than that. Um, and one of the most important aspects of yoga is gratitude, santosha, contentment. Like we spoke about earlier in the yamas, the foundations of the, of the practice. Good, so before we come into the forward bend, Paschimottanasana, stretching the west pose, we're gonna come into Dandasana stack. So just line up the fingers with the hips. So fingers line up with the hips. We're gonna lower the chin down toward chest as the chest lifts up into the chin. And in this pose, the spine is straight like a staff and a straight spine has four natural curves. So this is a resting pose at the same time, the low belly moves in and up, engaging the core muscles and lifting the kneecap slightly to activate the legs. Breathe. And big inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, fold, coming forward. So grab hold of big toes if accessible, otherwise bend the knees. Grabbing hold of shins or big toes with knees back. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, full, deep breathing. Five breaths. You release the breath to a point, still holding big toes, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. From here, we're gonna grab hold of outside edges of the feet, if accessible, or grab hold of the wrist or elbow. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold, and breathe. Release breath to a point, inhale slowly come up. From here we're going to come into vinyasa. So vinyasa has two meanings. Vinyasa is connecting breath and movement. Is a vinyasa and vinyasa is also jumping back, jumping through, coming back, coming through. And to do the vinyasa, if you have two blocks, this is helpful. So placing blocks by your side if you have them. And just lift up the back, maybe the front, working the arms, working the core. Neither walk or hop the feet back, right into plank. Exhale, lower, inhale up, exhale back. Downward dog, you could hop through or think about hopping through and just walk the feet through is fine. And so that's the vinyasa. From here, we're gonna come into counter pose, tabletop. So just bring the feet back. So feet come a, a few inches back behind the hips, fingers face you. Bring the feet toward you, feet apart. <clears throat> From here, tabletop, lift up, drop the head back. We'll hold for one, two, sacrum lifts to ceiling. Three, four, five, exhale, release. From here, straighten legs. So we'll come into another tabletop like we just did, or straight leg version, Horvotanasana. So stretching the east pose, the front of the body. So for that version, straight leg version, legs are straight, sides of the feet touch, both place hands back behind or another tabletop. 
<clears throat> for straight leg version, lower chin and the chest, straighten. So point the toes, we'll hold for one, two, three, four, and five. Release, lower down. And vinyasa. We're racing the sleep. From here, curl yourself down. So moving into back bends and finishing postures. We'll bend the knees, keeping the feet on the mat. <clears throat> Having the heels to outside edges of the sitting bones, knees above feet. And we'll place both hands down by your side, palms down. Inhale, take a breath. We'll draw the breath up from the back of the diaphragm. Exhale, drop the breath down. Pause the breath at the bottom. Bring some tone into the lower abdomen. Next inhale, we'll raise the hips up. So hips lift. We'll come up to the tippy top of the shoulders. Or you could clasp the fingers underneath. Micro bend elbows. So deep breathing here. Legs are strong, buttocks is soft, breath is full. Shoulder bridge. Good, exhale, release, lower the hips down. Taking a free breath or two. And we'll come into another, and this time by the count. Whenever you're ready, we'll come up. One, keeping the legs strong. Two, three, Four, five, and release, we'll lower the hips down. And it's taking a free breath or two. And from here, we're gonna place the, if you like, we'll come into another shoulder bridge or upward facing bow. Upward facing bow, Udward on your asana. You can place hands by ears, pressing up onto the head or fully up. This is final back bend. This one on your own, five breaths on your own. Begin now. And we'll come down, shoulder sacrum all the way down. Draw knees into chest, so grab hold of knees and shins. And pull the knees apart. We'll draw the knees down toward the armpits. As the coccyx, the tail, moves down toward the earth. It's a natural curve into the lumbar spine. And from here, knees together, roll into one side. So rest on the arm like a pillow. And trace the breath for a moment. And slowly come up into sitting. And from sitting, let's just straighten the legs, both legs straight. We'll raise arms up, big inhale. Exhale, fold, favorite hand position. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold and breathe. Release breath, inhale up, and vinyasa, race in the slate. And 
from here finding a comfortable seat if you want you could sit up on a block or cushion blanket the sitting on a block cushion or blanket will help to elevate the sitting bones to elongate the spine from here just grab hold of elbows back behind drop head back like you're sipping nectar deep breathing here coming forward deep breathing yoga mudra yoga seal Next exhale, hold the breath out like you fell into water, hold the breath. Still holding the breath, we'll raise up torso, big inhale. And release the arms. We'll join the thumb and index fingers together. We'll open and spread all the fingers wide apart. Deep breathing. It's one. Two. Three, four, five. And we'll keep the inhale and exhale more or less even. Listen to the sound and quality of your own breath. A couple more breaths on your own, go with them. From here, release the breath, let it go, give it away. We're going to move into Udplutihi, the spring up pose. If you want, you could use blocks. Blocks are optional, they're helpful. So we're going to ground the palms, working arms, working core. We're going to press up and hold just for a count of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Turn, release, lower down. So moving into the final posture, Shavasana Corpse Pose. So straighten the legs and just curl yourself down. Come all the way down onto the back. So just letting the feet relax and fall off to the sides. And we'll turn the palms up to the ceiling. Begin to lower the chin slightly, so the chin comes down, threads width below the arms. Quiet the mind, soften the brain, close the eyes, so the eyes become light and soft as the change of the season. Relax the skin on the face. And soften and release the palate as if you just said, ah. Oh. Heart is completely open, radiant, effulgent. Belly is soft, navel deep. The quadriceps gradually release, falling down into hamstrings. We'll soften the palm and we'll soften 
the soles of the feet. Begin the process of letting go. Starting with the breath. The breath becomes silent, shallow, almost non-existent. So we'll set the breath free, and we'll set all beings free. So letting go of the body, letting go of your practice. The whole body is completely relaxed and still. The mind is present and clear. It's addressed in this openness, this awareness for the next while. back slowly, keeping the tongue silent, releasing language function, begin to draw the breath up from the back of the diaphragm, and we'll drop the breath all the way down to its lowest places. Begin to lengthen fingers and toes. Bring movement to wrists and ankles, hands and feet. Next inhale, raise both arms up and overhead, reaching way back. Draw the knees in the chest, one knee at a time. Eventually, both knees draw into chest. Just roll into one side, resting on the arm like a pillow, tracing the breath for a moment. Yeah. Slowly come up into sitting. And let's end, but it's finding a, a comfortable seat. 
bring the hands together in front of heart. So lightly press the palms together, or lift the chest, and we'll lower the chin slightly. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. Thank you for your practice. Being grateful for the practice of movement, the practice of yoga, and a great way to take this practice of gratitude off the mat and into the world by keeping a gratitude journal and simply writing down three things you're grateful for every night before going to sleep. Very helpful practice that I've been doing personally for the uh, last several years now. So I invite you to try that as well. And thanks. See you next time.